Hey you guys. So remember the days when you used to have like one blush from the drugstore, maybe one crusty old mascara that you used for six months at a time, and maybe like one lipstick and like a silver eyeshadow, maybe a black eyeliner? What I'm getting at is remember the days when your makeup used to fit into one makeup bag? Yeah, I remember those days too. I think I had like one CoverGirl eyeshadow. It was pink and that's like all I had. And now I have a drawer full of makeup that I almost never wear that I bought on impulse. And it's time to declutter. I have done a makeup declutter before on my channel. I'll link it in the cards somewhere here before, but um, I decided to do that makeup declutter because I was so overwhelmed with the amount of crap that I had accumulated. If you're new to my channel, my name's Christina and I am a shopping addict. I am a recovering shopping addict and I'm also going through a low buy year in order to pay off a student debt that I essentially ignored for the past few years because of my shopping habits and my shopping addiction. So I will leave a bunch of videos down there below for you if you're interested in following along with me um, with that. But part of my vices in terms of my shopping addiction was makeup. Throwing back to the olden days, pre-beauty YouTubers, it used to be that you could fit your makeup in a makeup bag and that was it. I have two makeup bags here and I don't know if I'm like cheating a little bit because they are on the larger side. I have this one from Sephora, which I kind of like. It's got a bunch of like different, can you see that? Like storage systems here. It's got spots for brushes or I will probably fit it in this one. And it's got a lot of room in there. So I am going to whittle down my makeup drawer, go through everything I have, and I'm going to whittle down my entire makeup collection, including brushes, including tools, to fit into one of these two makeup bags. Just editing down my stuff pile ultimately just makes me feel better, makes my mind feel more at ease, makes me feel less cluttered. I'm missing the old days from high school when all my stuff used to fit in just one makeup bag, so let's bring that back. Hey, okay, so this is my desk slash beauty vanity. This is where I do my makeup, all that kind of stuff. So I will just take you through my makeup bit by bit. I will speed through a lot of this but we're gonna declutter and I'm gonna fit all my stuff in one makeup bag because I'm tired. Okay, here we go. These are all of my foundation, face products, primers. Um, some of these are very, very old. I'm just gonna go through each one to see what I'm actually using, which actually, to be honest, is not that much. So out of the things that I really like, so this is the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet Foundation. The other thing I want to start doing is going um, cruelty-free for everything. I don't think Chanel is cruelty-free. I really like it, but it's not cruelty-free that I'm aware of, and it's like long since expired, so I'm gonna probably get rid of it. Same with the Charlotte Tilbury. She is cruelty-free, and I really, really like her formula. I find that the Light Wonder, though, the Light Wonder Foundation, it sticks to the dry patches on my skin quite a lot, and this is expired AF, so I'm gonna get rid of this. I have the two Glossier Perfecting Skin Tint in medium and in light. I don't know how if you can see how they're like stuck on here and separating. These are really, really old and I am pretty sure Glossier reformulated them. Long since expired, starting to separate, don't really use it, so toss. This is the main concealer that I'm using right now. I believe it's discontinued from Hourglass, but it's there. It's the Hourglass Stick Concealer in Hidden Natural. I use this as like an under eye corrector. Unfortunately discontinued, I'm pretty sure, but I'm gonna use it up. This is the face base makeup pile, not bad. And then I'll show you everything of what we're gonna toss at the end, but this is a pretty good cull, I think. We're still gonna whittle this down even more though if it doesn't fit in the makeup bag. Moving on to cream. 
highlighters this is going to be tough as well i don't feel like much will get called here but i gotta be ruthless now these are all my cream blushes i love blush being honest with myself i don't really go for a lot of these as much as i would like to so i think i can get rid of some I thought it was pronounced Kajar Weiss, but it's Kier Weiss. This is her cream blush in Sun Touched. So I really like this blush. I get a lot of compliments on it when I do wear it. And the nice thing about her packaging is this is all reusable. So you just buy the refill and you can reuse this packaging over and over and over again. A lot of her stuff, it's like plant-based, cruelty-free. It's really, really nice. It feels substantial too. Like the packaging feels really heavy and beautiful. I really like this. I want to use it more. So I'm going to hold on to it. Here we've got powder blushes, setting powders, and a cheek palette. This is from Benefit. My sister gave me this, and I thought I would use it. It's their Cheekathon palette. It's barely used. I'm gonna give this away. It's got all of their blushes, like Dandelion, Dallas. So it's got everything in there. I've never used it. Neither did she. I'm gonna give this away to somebody because it's big, it's bulky, and I don't ever go for it. I think you've seen a lot of these actually before because I kept them all from my last makeup declutter last summer and uh, I can really tell you what I've used and what I haven't. I was actually gonna get rid of this Marc Jacob one and it's a little bit more orange and darker than the coconut one. The coconut is more of like a contoury type of color if you can see the difference there. I wear this one almost every day if I'm wearing bronzer. And then this one, I never really reach for. So this one's going away for sure this time. I don't really wear a lot of eyeshadow. My eyeshadow collection is not very big, but I can tell you right away, I know what I'm keeping and I know what I'm getting rid of. These are all of my lip products. I kind of sorted them out by brand. So my most excessive is Bite Beauty over here.
Okay, so this is all the stuff that I want to keep. This is the makeup bag I'm gonna go with. Oh my God, I'm nervous. So uh, I did it. I chose this makeup bag. This one I think is a little bit more generous in size than the other one that I showed you. And I also shoved in a bunch of my makeup brushes that I also decluttered off of camera because I don't need a million makeup brushes. So this is it. Um, I was able to fit most of everything I wanted, other things I wasn't able to fit in there, like the maybes. I think I might be able to if I kind of like sit on this and shove it closed, but that's not the point. And I even think, like if you see in the back, in the footage, um, the fast forward footage, I was like struggling to, to even get what I wanted in there, in there anyway. So to me, that just suggests that I was having trouble letting go of things. And I still even am having trouble letting go of things because I still see a huge pile of stuff over here, which I'll show you that I'm kind of feeling sad about parting with. I know I don't necessarily have to. This is a challenge that I'm doing for myself. I'm trying to minimize the amount of stuff that I have and at the same time trying to maximize the usage of the things that I am choosing to keep. So what it suggests to me, although I'm sad and like, uh, you know, afraid to let go of, of these items that didn't necessarily fit in here. I think it just speaks more truthfully about how often I actually really use the item because if I didn't find a way to shove it in this bag, then I probably didn't really use it as much as I thought. So, and if there's things down the line that I find I'm missing, then maybe I'll just like pick something up at that point, but it would have to be something that I really really need and I don't think I think I have more than enough in this kit this is like a ridiculous size and even if I was to go away for a weekend I wouldn't bring this much crap with me like I was able to fit like backups in here and doubles like I have like four different bronzers in here this in this bag is everything that I'm going to give away Can you see that <laughs> um, give away, let people go through it and see what they want to keep. There's nothing that was like unopened that I could potentially donate. So this this pile is actually going to get bigger because uh, here I'll show you. And here is the pile of stuff that was in the maybe pile that I didn't end up keeping. So like I can probably still fit that in my makeup bag, but this is just stuff that I thought I wanted to keep. When it came down to it, when I was like panic fitting everything in that bag, I didn't reach for it. So that to me says something and that to me is kind of a test of how much I truly, truly use the product. I don't do my makeup that often. I have all these like brushes and pens for some reason that I don't use. That's what everything looked like. That was still the maybe stuff. This is the giveaway stuff and then this is everything that fit. I think this is something that we can all try to do. Maybe we can make it a thing, like hashtag one makeup bag makeup, I don't know. I feel like that makeup bag is still kind of cheating because it's still pretty big. It's not definitely not the same size as the one that I used in high school, but I think it's a good start. I think now that I've whittled my makeup collection down even further, I will really truly see how often I'm using what. That way it's just another jumping point for me to sort of evaluate what I'm using and what I'm not. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know if you have been thinking about challenging yourself in minimizing your makeup collection. It doesn't have to be in one single makeup bag going old school style, but let me know if you've at least thought about it or if you've thought about decluttering your makeup. Just going through your stuff forces you to think about it, forces you to 
look at where you put your money and where you decided to spend it. And I think at the very least, it'll make you just evaluate what you have and what you need to get rid of. I think one of the challenges was I was starting to feel attached to certain things or thinking about how much money I spent on certain things. And that money is long gone. Now it's a question of, am I actually going to use this or not? And if I'm not, then it's gotta go. Like there's no, it doesn't serve me anymore. Um, and someone else can get enjoyment out of it, I think so. Yeah, let me know if you like this video and let me know if you are into challenging yourself to minimize your makeup collection and do a hashtag one makeup, what should this be? Hashtag makeup, hashtag one makeup bag. I really do challenge you to go through your stuff, minimize what you're not using and to use what you have. I hope you guys like this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.